Hey everybody, Chris with Legendary Customs. La Crosse, Wisconsin, the Dirty Ford completed another very important step today. It got the rest of its color. Now, you've heard in other episodes, it's gonna be a Dirty Ford. That's exactly right. So right now it's looking pretty good. Wait till you see it at the next step. It's gonna be antiqued again. We're gonna put the patina right back on it that we took off. Just wanted to make it so it's protected, so it's not gonna rust in the future. So we bring it almost back to new, left the dents and dings, and then we're gonna put the patina back on it. But now, just like before, it's Christmas time. We have to unwrap this beast so we can let it cure out over the weekend and start up on it Monday strong. So here we go. Christmas in March. It's always fun doing a two-tone. Because of the nice contrast that we get. All I can say is, Brett, you're gonna love your truck. This thing is looking so awesome. The unibody has some pretty classic lines. These two colors, the red is called Candy Apple Red, very close to the original 1962 color. And the top is a Wimbledon White, which was used by Ford in 1964 and through 68. And these two colors look great together. Oh no! Oops! As you will see, that's not even gonna matter. I don't know how it happened, and on most paint jobs, that would be a holy shit moment. But right now, I'm not even worried about it because of the dirty Ford. So, as you can see, the Dirty Ford doesn't look too dirty. So next episode, you'll see exactly what we're going to do to it. It's going to turn out awesome. I'm Chris Meyer. Join me and the Legendary Customs team as we take ordinary rides and craft them into Legendary Customs. As you can see, we're making the Ford dirty again. We're doing a wear pattern as if it had a tarp over it for years. So the tarp wearing on it, and then the sun, and the wind, and just everything. So we're just putting it a distressed look on it, making it into the dirty Ford. Again, like I said before, it has the dents, it has the dings. Now we're putting some patina on it, and uh, just taking it to the next level finishing up like we wanted to. Long and short, it's coming along great. 
Kang and Zach are doing a great job. Um, going to do a little bit of a antiquing to it that I haven't seen before in the past. Have a guest artist coming in. He's going to knock that out for us. previous segments we have everything airbrushed on there thanks to a guest artist Brian for helping me uh, get going in the right direction we finished up the airbrushing last night Zach finished the clear coat today I just text Brett, the owner of this truck, and I asked him, you know, it's a 62, it didn't have Bluetooth and all that good jazz. It comes with a little microphone that you can use with your phone. So I asked if you want it installed, he said discreetly. So I'm thinking like right here. Can you see that or is that out of the way? So I'm gonna send him a picture to see what he said. It's not April Fool's, but it's close enough.
we are getting ready to do one of our world famous live edge beds. We have the wood loaded up. We're gonna go up to Schaefer Woodworking in Holman, Wisconsin. They have been truly a great partner in this process. We're gonna get all this planed and then Kathy and I are gonna come back and set the lumber out for the bed that we are gonna do next. Anyway, this is all cherry and this is gonna go into the dirty Ford. So on to the next step. Okay, these are the side emblems for the Ford. They were painted um, like primer gray and then primer red over the top of that. And I know why, because it's all scratched to heck. So these are the original Ford emblems. The chrome is all beat up. But for what we're doing for a look here, I think this will look much better even with the scratches in it than something painted silver that looks like fake chrome. So being beat up and pitted doesn't bother me at all. We got all the paint off with aircraft stripper. So now I'm just doing the final cleanup, getting ready for installation. Looking good. So you use aircraft stripper, do it outside. That shit stinks. As you can see, Zach and Kang have been wiring the last two weeks. Wiring, hooking up fuel lines, hooking up brake lines, brake boosters, all this little stuff that takes up a ton of time. So it hasn't been too exciting. So we're not bringing you too terribly much of a lot of footage because watching guys wire for two weeks straight is not fun. So I appreciate everybody's patience. But as you can see, the dirty Ford is dirty again. Last week we finished all the airbrushing, all of the patina work, so it's looking really good. Kang has the third brake light in, and I do say so myself that it blends in really nice, which is what we wanted. Steering wheel is in just for going around in the shop. Um, waiting on a brake harness or a wire harness from the main Crown Vic 4.6 engine but a lot of things are coming together. So today and the rest of this week, we'll be finishing up wiring, probably be beginning of, beginning of next week, we'll be finishing up all of the wiring. 
and then uh, hopefully we'll be putting in the glass and all the odds and ends because on the 15th of April this goes over to Matt at Rags to have him put the seat carpet and headliner and the other panels that he's making for it in. So things are going good. Appreciate you joining us. Stay tuned for more. Chris, Zach, and Kang with Legendary Customs in La Crosse, Wisconsin, where we take something rather ordinary and make it legendary. Appreciate y'all. Tune in again. Remember, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks much.